Welcome to our show, The Consumer Brief. Today, we have some intriguing stories lined up for you. First up, a new report has parents worried as it reveals a significant drop in children's love for reading from ages 8 to 9. Dubbed the decline by 9, this trend is linked to several factors including the pandemic's impact on peer-to-peer -peer discovery and the allure of digital entertainment over books. Schools are stepping up to encourage reading through various initiatives, but the challenge remains substantial. Next, let's talk about the Women Who Rock 2024 event. Footwear News and the 210 Footwear Foundation joined forces to create a night of networking and inspiration for women in leadership roles within the footwear industry. The event featured powerhouse speakers like Melissa Wirth from New Balance and Tamara Mellon, co-founder of Jimmy Choo, who shared valuable insights on mentorship and leadership. It was a night to remember, aimed at uplifting and supporting women in the sector. Lastly, the residents of Stillwater are gearing up for an important vote. The city council has approved a referendum asking locals to support a half-percent sales tax to fund improvements along the St. Croix River. If passed, this tax could generate up to $6.2 million over the next decade, funding projects like renovating the Apple House and stabilizing the riverbank. This initiative aims to enhance the community's recreational spaces and preserve the natural beauty of the riverfront. Please stay tuned for more details on these stories. Yahoo US also sheds light on the Women Who Rock 2024 event, a collaboration between FN and the 210 Footwear Foundation. Held on June 5, the event featured prominent female leaders discussing mentorship, leadership lessons, and the future of women in leadership roles. Speakers included Melissa Wirth from New Balance, Marsha Kilgore of Fitflop, Marina Larud of Larud, Tamara Mellon of Jimmy Choo, and Sharifa Murdoch of Kith. The event emphasized the importance of empowering the next generation of women through mentorship and building a culture of trust and respect. The gathering provided a platform for networking and sharing valuable insights on leadership and personal growth. In another Yahoo US article, the focus shifts to Stillwater, where residents will vote on a proposed half-percent sales tax to fund improvements at parks along the St. Croix River. The Stillwater City Council has approved a referendum that, if passed, could generate up to $6.2 million over 10 years. This revenue would support projects such as the renovation of the Apple House, construction of a parking lot at Lumberjack Landing Park, and riverbank stabilization. The sales tax aims to alleviate the financial burden on property taxpayers by drawing contributions from visitors. The city has already received a $6 million grant from the Minnesota legislature, and the additional funds would help complete the riverfront development, enhancing the community's waterfront amenities. Yahoo US! Is your jewelry box filled with rings that don't quite fit? Whether they're heirlooms or pieces that no longer fit, it's common to have rings that twist or slide off. Fortunately, you don't need to visit an expensive jeweler to resize them. Instead, grab a pack of invisible ring size adjusters, now available for $9 on Amazon. These adjusters are tiny, flexible pieces of plastic that slip onto the inside of almost any ring to provide a snugger fit. They come in a pack of eight, offering four wide and four narrow sizes to ensure the perfect fit. Reviewers love how discreet and effective they are, with over 21,000 five-star ratings. One user shared how the adjusters made a family heirloom ring fit perfectly without resizing. Another praised the adjusters for preventing their ring from rotating, even after multiple attempts by a jeweler to resize it. Yahoo US! Summer activities can lead to aches and pains, but the Renfo Thermical Massage Gun is here to help. Currently over $50 off on Amazon, this massage gun features a cooling and heating head that delivers relief at temperatures ranging from 47 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. It also includes four regular heads targeting different muscle depths and five speeds, maxing out at 3,200 rpm. Weighing just 1.5 pounds and operating at a quiet 40 decibels, it's perfect for on-the-go relief. Users rave about its long battery life and effectiveness in alleviating pain, with one reviewer saying it outperformed their old massager. Another appreciated the thermal attachment, which can be used as a compress while charging. Despite some feedback on the flat head design, the overall response is overwhelmingly positive. Yahoo US! Looking for more Amazon deals? Check out the Renfo Thermical Massage Gun, now $88, down from $140. This powerful device offers both heating and cooling heads, along with four regular attachments, to target muscles at various depths. With 5 speeds and a maximum noise level of 40 decibels, it's a versatile tool for muscle relief. Over 3,100 users have praised its effectiveness, battery life, and quiet operation. One user highlighted its ability to relieve debilitating back pain, while another noted the convenience of the thermal attachment. Despite some minor design critiques, 
the massage gun remains a popular choice for those seeking a stress-free summer. Yahoo US reports that the Powerlick sleeping pad, a favorite among campers, is currently available on Amazon for just $26, a significant discount from its original $60 price. Designed for comfort, this ultralight inflatable pad measures 75 by 23 inches when inflated and rolls down to the size of a water bottle, weighing only 1.32 pounds. With nearly 10,000 positive reviews, users praise its ease of inflation and comfort, though some note it can be noisy and slightly narrow for larger individuals. The pad is made from heavy-duty nylon fabric, ensuring durability for outdoor adventures. In another article from Yahoo US, the Renfo Thermical Massage Gun is highlighted as a must-have for summer activities, currently priced at $88 on Amazon, down from $140. This massage gun includes a unique cooling and heating head, along with four other attachments, offering relief for overworked muscles with temperatures ranging from 47 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Weighing just 1.5 pounds and operating at a quiet 40 decibels, it is highly portable and effective. Reviewers appreciate its battery life and powerful performance, though some find the flat head design less effective for sore muscles. Lastly, Yahoo US covers the opening of Hoka's first US flagship store on Fifth Avenue in New York City. Scheduled to open on June 7, this 9,000-square-foot store aims to engage both local and international customers. Hoka's president, Robin Green, emphasizes the store's role in creating a welcoming environment for all types of customers, from serious runners to casual movers. The store will feature the latest in Hoka's innovative footwear and apparel, and serve as a community space for local athletes. Green, who joined Hoka from Nike, is optimistic about the brand's growth, particularly in apparel and sees the new flagship as a significant step in amplifying Hoka's presence both domestically and internationally. Yahoo US, as the sizzling summer looms, the Gisulife 3 in one handheld fan emerges as a must-have gadget to beat the heat. Retailing at $14, a 40% discount, this compact marvel not only cools you down with up to 21 hours of breeze but also doubles as a USB power bank and flashlight. Its adorable bear-shaped design and foldable structure make it a perfect travel companion, fitting snugly in your purse for those sweltering days at Disney or outdoor adventures. Thousands of satisfied customers rave about its efficiency, with one noting its indispensability for enduring the 100-degree Florida heat, while another highlights its life-saving role during hot flashes. Despite minor complaints about its noise and difficulty in opening, the fan's functionality and affordability make it a summer essential. Whether you're braving theme park lines or just trying to stay cool at your desk, this little fan has got you covered. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 do brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 do brief via email.